Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the second part of the tutorial for the song Break My Heart by Dua Lipa. In case you haven't seen the first part, I would suggest that you go watch that and then come back to this one. I will include a link in cards and in the description box below. Also there you will find links to the sheet music for this tune, the full musical video and also a link to the backing track. If you would like to see more of my daily life, the links to all my social media, including my Instagram and my TikTok, will be down below. If you enjoy those free lessons, please leave a like and subscribe. That helps the growth of the channel and allows me to make more of this content for you. That's all! Enjoy your lesson! Now it's time for us to learn the pre-chorus of the song. The pre-chorus starts quite high. This is the note B with third finger. The easiest way for you to find it is to catch your high A harmonics. Put your second finger on the harmonics and then find the B after that with your third finger. So if the harmonics is here, okay, you find it. And after this with your third finger, you play the note B. So once you found it, we have two times the note B then we go back to fourth position, the note G with fourth finger. Then two times again with first finger, the note E. So let's recap two times B, two times G, two times E. It has to sound like this. Then the next note is going to be A with third finger. You can just play it as your harmonics. It's much easier. Two times with third finger, the note A. F sharp with third finger. With first finger, D on the third position. So again, two times A. Two times F sharp with third finger with first finger on third position, D. So it has to sound like this from the start. Now let's try it very, very slowly. Again, find your B. Okay, now we found it very slowly. One and. Now, we are already on the third position. With first finger, we play two extra Ds. We go back to A with third finger. And on the second A, you keep your bow because we have another note to play after that, which is going to be the G with second finger. In tempo, it has to sound like this. Now the same note G with second finger, keep the note, just replace the second finger with first finger. Do that in the pause which we have in between those two melodies. The next melody goes like this. So it's gonna be G with first finger, A with extended second finger, B with extended third finger, then all single bows after that, A with second finger, first finger for G, first finger back to fourth position on the E. Now once again, from the beginning, G with first finger, A with second, B with third, second, first, back to fourth position, E on first finger. Now let's try to put them together. We found our B with third finger, four, and. Now 
Now I'm gonna play it for you in full tempo. Now this exact same sequence is repeated one more time. There is only one little difference at the end of it. We repeat the exact same. Two times B, two times G, E, A, F, So until here, everything was exactly the same. The only thing that you're going to do, you're gonna stay on that same second finger where is your G note. This time we're not replacing our second finger on the G with the first, we stay on the same. We play three times F, G, first finger, second finger. We play it three times. Those two notes will be on one bow. So F, G, one more time on the up bow, two notes F, G. And one more time on the third bow, again F, G. So we have... So once we played that last two notes, we landed again on our second finger on the G note. This time we're going to make a small jump we're going to the F sharp with fourth finger. This is our third position, extended third position. So after we made the jump to F sharp with fourth finger, the last note is second finger for the note E. And this is our whole pre-chorus. Now let's repeat the pre-chorus from the start. Four and the full pre chorus has to sound like this. Now it's time for the most important part of the song and this is the chorus. So we are in extended third position. The chorus starts with the notes B, D, E. So the B is going to be with fourth finger on the third string. It will be with a bow actually. Then extended uh, position back with first finger is going to be the note D. And then second finger for the E. So it has to sound like this. B, D, E, fourth finger, first, second, all in different bows. We start with up bow. And then we repeat the same E three times. Now the interesting part about these three E's is not the notes itself because they are exactly the same notes. It is how you play them. I personally like to play the first note staccato and to put a little bit of emphasis on the next two notes. That's why on the second and the third E I like to change my finger from second to first. Not that I cannot play it with on the same position with the second finger, but anyhow we're gonna need to change on fourth position for the next bar. And another interesting part, this is why I wrote those two notes two times down bow, because I want you to play the first as staccato, and after this you go back to down bow and you play the second with a little bit of accent on it. Now let's look at the notes one more time. Third position with fourth finger, B, D with first finger, E with second finger, then again E as a staccato, we bring back the bow, we go to first finger with the E. In the next bar we have E, G, in the same fourth position, E and G will be in the same bow. 
and then we have three extra G's which are going to be a staccato then we have two F's and F E slurred together so all stays in the same position E G in the one bow two times F and then F E on one slur so first finger to fourth fourth again then third finger and then third first now we jump back to first position on the A string is going to be B with first finger then D with fourth finger back to first finger and then second finger for C now again as I spoke about those accents on the E previously the same thing goes for this and then the accent so we have first fourth B to D back to first second finger for the C and then accent on the second C and then again we have B to C and then three more C's then jump to third position with first finger the D two D's and then one D and one A slurred together it has to sound like this and then we repeat the whole chorus from the beginning what it was third position B D E you remember fourth finger first second and then E G now here we have a difference instead of going back to first position and playing you remember we don't do that the second time instead of going back to first position we stay here and we play E jump up to B now once you have that jump down we have to play up bow for the E then jump to the B with third finger second finger for A first finger for G then fourth finger for F sharp this is third position reverse back extended position to D now one more time first to third one more time E to B F D and then after the second D we jump back to B again very big jump and the same notes we repeat them so again E third second first fourth to first and again the same notes and then for ending we have D and E with second finger so we ended on D and E second finger third position on the A string this is the last note that we played then we have one full beat of a pause one end Essentially the whole chorus is repeating two times this first melody line which we learned today and once you have these three parts down you have the verse which we learned at the start you have the pre-chorus and now we got finally the chorus down then you have essentially the whole song if you purchase the sheet music you will see that I added a few bars of improvisation I just wanted to make the cello line a little bit more interesting for those of you who are maybe intermediate or maybe even advanced players however for those of you who are beginners and intermediate 
once you learn this first three main pieces of the song you pretty much have the whole song down this was our whole lesson today it was a little bit of a longer lesson i think it's already dark outside <laughs> i am not going to lie to you if i say that I am pretty tired now. I hope I did not make a lot of mistakes because I was always thinking, am I saying the right note? Am I saying the right finger? <laughs> so if I have made any mistakes, I will be sure to make markings in post-production to make sure that you guys are having the right information. <laughs> For those of you who have stayed until the end of the video, Thank you so much. That is crazy. You are a very dedicated cello player. <laughs> Thank you so much for staying until the end. Again, I would like to urge you to go down in the description box. The first three links are going to be number one, of course, the sheet music. You can visit my sheet music store and uh, you can check even my other sheet music. I have plenty of cello arrangements from pop songs to Disney songs to many, many others, along with a few original songs, actually. How about that? <laughs> for all of you who have been requesting for me to make a tutorial about black magic, I will, I promise. It is coming very soon. I'm just working on the sheet music about this. And the next tutorial is going to be black magic for all of you who have requested it. Thank you so much for requesting one of my original songs that, that really makes me very humbled. And I cannot imagine that uh, some people out there are playing my original cello music. This is, this is a big accomplishment for me and it really warms my heart that you guys enjoyed that tune. Again, thank you so much for watching. It was a big pleasure for me to do this tutorial for you. I hope that you found it useful. If you have any tips, if you want me to change something about doing those tutorials, you can always, always leave comments down below. I always make sure to check them. Thanks for watching again and have a nice day. Bye!